Hey friends, so today is going to be a bit different because we are at Cow and we're just going to do fresh oysters three different ways. Nick has everything all prepped and prepared. I wasn't going to do this as a video, it's just kind of spontaneous. So I didn't show you the preparation, very simple and easy. I'll show you guys what he has done and the oysters and they got enjoyed. I got myself some stuff from the lunchroom, which um, is like a little cafe, like a fancy deli cafe kind of thing. So we'll do a little food review, but we'll get to the oysters first. So the oysters are $14 a dozen. We got four dozen because we're going to give some to people as well. And what he has prepared, so this is red wine vinegar um, with finely chopped red onion. And he's done this for about two, three days ago just to get the flavors infused. This is a popular thing to do with shallots. We didn't have shallots, but we did have red onion. So that's just what he'd done. This one is he minced up garlic with olive oil just to get that as a garlic olive oil. So pretty, pretty easy. They're all easy. And then the final thing is lime or lemon, but we have limes with Tabasco. And this is a Tabasco that he'll be using today. And one thing that was cool with the lunchroom, they have their own made local Worcestershire sauce, which is just so cool to me. It was $9.50 for the bottle. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, because Worcestershire sauce is one thing that I really want to make myself to can up. So it's just going to be so cool to taste like another homemade local sauce. <laughs> So how we enjoy these oysters, we just pretty much brought them at cow locally. They have a cow farm. They are caught freshly from the farms around that area um, daily. And then so we just brought them and instead of taking them home, we do have the fridge freezer so we could, but instead of taking them home, we just parked in the parking bay and just enjoyed them on the tailgate. And we definitely did clean the back of the car, like the tailgate and stuff very well before and after so that is all fine so nick is shucking them he's not the best shucker he didn't really want to show a tutorial but he didn't mind if his hands and things are in there so you know he's a bit camera shy but one way they do i believe both the boys at least both of them were eating it this way today but I definitely know nick does prefer is to have the oysters in a shot glass and then put the shot glass up to his mouth to take the oyster rather than using the shell so here he used the red wine vinegar with the red onion and that's just how it looks like to me it looks kind of like brains the oyster and the redness i don't know it doesn't look appetizing to me but the boys are absolutely loving it now he is trying the oil with the garlic both of the boys agree with the oil the flavor with the garlic and the oyster was incredible but the oily feeling mixed with the salty waterness of the oyster just wasn't very good so that definitely was not their favorite that we've tried it didn't reach for that one again the red wine vinegar with the red onions, they liked it, but the other options we had was better. And here's number four, because I only showed you three ways, or told you about three ways in the beginning, is a witch's dish sauce. This wasn't planned. I wasn't planned to buy this, or we had some at home that we could have brought to use, but it wasn't a thing. It's just the fact I had it, and I tried it on my lunch. They thought they'll try it with the oysters, and it was a hit. Apparently the Worcestershire sauce on oysters is incredible. They got a little bit creative and they were also mixing up the different things. So they tried the Worcestershire sauce with some fresh lime as Callum just did just there. Again, it was nice. Wasn't their favorite, but it was still nice. This is the buffalo Tabasco sauce with the lime. Last time they had oysters, they just had regular Tabasco sauce and lemon juice. And that was their favorite, but we just had the buffalo Tabasco this time so they're just and lime we didn't have any fresh lemon so they just kind of substituted those two ingredients and Nick thinks that this was better specifically more so the buffalo Tabasco over regular Tabasco with um, the oysters and again he's just mixing mix and matching <laughs> the different things now he's trying the Worcestershire sauce and the lime I know he really liked that as well but he preferred the lime with the buffalo Tabasco sauce and the Worcestershire sauce by itself but either way those three ingredients the lime the Worcestershire sauce and the buffalo Tabasco sauce was the biggest hit now this is my lunch so my lunch I got from the lunch room the same place that I brought the Worcestershire sauce from Worcestershire sauce <laughs> so this is just a chicken bacon toasted panini and it had like cheese and spinach and I think sun-dried tomato or something as well in there it was really nice and tasty. I had a bucket of hot chips. Unfortunately, I ended up dropping my bucket of hot chips. So I only had a few on the top, as you see, and the rest ended up going to the seagulls because I just dropped them. Um, and then also but before I dropped them, or maybe there was a few left in the cup. I think I dropped it already and there was a couple left in the cup. 
um, which I managed to save. But I wanted to try it with the Worcestershire sauce, and oh my goodness, it is delicious. That Worcestershire sauce, way better than any store brought Worcestershire sauce, and that makes me even more excited to make my own. But anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!